Russia began withdrawing a number of its military units from Vovchansk town in northeastern Kharkiv region due to the loss of their combat effectiveness, Ukrainian Telegram channel reported. The withdrawal of troops was recorded near Lipsy and Tykhy areas of the border town of Vovchansk, said Nazar Volishin, spokesman for the Kortitsa Operational Strategic Group of Forces. The channel reported that Russian forces have not conducted active combat operations in the above-mentioned area in the past 24 hours or this morning. In mid-May, Russia opened a second front by pushing over the border into Kharkiv region with small groups of mobile units. According to Ukraine's Security Council secretary, more than 30,000 Russian troops were involved in the attack on Kharkiv. On May 13, Ukraine's general staff acknowledged that Russia had tactical success in the fight for Vovchansk. Russia claimed capture of several villages in Vovchansk. The renewed assault on Kharkiv region forced more than 1,700 civilians residing in settlements near the fighting to flee, according to Ukrainian authorities. The attack comes after Russia stepped up attacks in March targeting energy infrastructure and settlements. Tamas Hambarashvili, the head of the Vovchansk military administration confirmed to media in early May that the situation in Vovchansk and the settlements along the border was incredibly difficult due to Russia constantly carrying out aviation attacks, multiple rocket missile system strikes and artillery strikes. The Russians made a fatal mistake at Chasov Yar, causing heavy casualties. The Russian occupiers began to attack Chasiv Yar in the Donetsk region in early April in order to capture or completely destroy the city and squeeze the main supply lines of the Ukrainian military. The Russians hoped that the capture of the city would not take much time and effort, but every day the defense forces push the enemy's army as far as possible from the temporal ravine, reports Forbes, capturing an almost dead city where 12,000 people once lived should not have been extremely difficult for the outnumbered and better armed Russian army. However, 10 weeks after the offensive, the Russian attack stopped and the counter-attacks of the armed forces of Ukraine to the south of the city in recent days displaced the occupying troops from Klishivka, one of the southern bases of the Russian troops which are trying to surround Chasiv Yar, the article says. The publication noted that the city is defended by several Ukrainian brigades, in particular the 41st and 67th Mechanized Brigades, the 56th Motorized Brigade, the 5th Amphibious Assault Brigade, as well as the 241st Territorial Defense Brigade. The successful work of these troops did not meet the enemy's expectations regarding Chasovoy Yar and the Ukrainian analytical group Frontelligence Insight predicted that the city will eventually be lost to Russian troops. Not long ago, the situation changed significantly because American ammunition began to arrive in Ukraine. At the same time, the Russians also made mistakes. The article emphasized that instead of strengthening their forces in the east, the occupiers launched an offensive in the north of Ukraine on May the 10th, where they were also unsuccessful because they fell into a trap there. Nonetheless, the fighting in and around Chasavoya raged on, but for the first time in weeks, neither side had a significant firepower advantage, and the Ukrainians had the neutral advantage that all defending armies have over attacking armies. They could dig in and wait on the heights of Chasavoya, while the Russians had to leave the relative safety of their own trenches and bunkers and cross the low-lying open terrain, the newspaper writes. The material explained that there is a canal in this area that covers the forest. It was in this forest that the occupying army was stationed and hiding from Ukrainian drones, but the Russians made mistakes here as well, rushing to capture Chasiv Yar. The forest around the canal provides cover from Ukrainian drones, but Crossing the canal itself means leaving the forest and rushing across one of the two land bridges that cross the canal. It is here, on these land bridges, that Ukrainian drones and artillery kill the attacking Russians. When some Russians sought refuge in wide water pipes, Ukrainian drones took them there and threw grenades there, Forbes reports. The newspaper concluded that even if the Russians manage to regroup, the capture of Chasovoya 
after such large-scale losses will only mean a Pyrrhic victory. That is, a victory equal to a defeat.